There are major differences between uh, RGBM and VPM. Both are bubble models. That's a good thing for divers. Whoever is using VPM or, or, or RGBM, that's a good thing. Uh, the VPM uh, was the brainchild of David Yant, who was a friend of mine, and he died a few years ago. Uh, he did some nice bubble experiments and got the, uh, the deep stop business going nicely. Uh, his experiments, though, uh, nice and as great and as published as they were, didn't address a lot of the, the finer dynamics that are necessary to do gas transfer from the dissolved phase into the bubble. Didn't do it quite, not incorrectly, but didn't do it well enough. The RGBM and the VPM, people may think they're the same, but they're really not. There are major differences. Uh, at the at well, what you might call the microscopic physics level, they both predict bubble behavior, which brings on be deep stops in both cases, but they're different. The other thing is is even more important uh, to divers. Um, RGBM is published, tested, validated, correlated with the data as we explained just a few minutes ago. VPM that has never been done. Uh, and, well, maybe it will be. We'll see, you know. Uh, somebody may test VPM and try to correlate it with the data like what we have, and we're willing to give the data bank to them if they want to try it. But that's an important factor is that uh, um, we have a time-tested and safe Sunto-fused RGBM. Uh, you may, even though there may be overlaps uh, in, in, in very smooth, even profiles. Uh, there's dynamical bubble, uh, bubble behavior that varies and changes how they both do, do as far as how they uh, stage divers. Uh, just a historical note, um, when VPM first came out, of course, um, I had known David from SLAC, from Stanford, uh, Stanford Linear Accelerator, and so uh, when this uh, came out, we uh, on the dive team at Los Alamos, we uh, tested it, and uh, we we found that there were things that didn't work for our staging as well as we wanted. And uh, at that point, uh, discussions between David and I took place, and uh, there were mutual suggestions as to how to better the model. And at, at that point, um, RGBM, David died, RGBM took off on its own. Um, we look at the bubbles as having a skin of either lipid and or aqueous tissues for which the gas diffusion properties of the, across the bubble interfaces uh, are spelled out. Yeah, so the dynamics of the gas exchange is, uh, is spelled out. That, that's not true uh, in, in the VPM as far as I know. Uh, and in looking at published papers in places like that, you don't see that. Um, so that, the, major, I mean, the major point is that they are not the same models, but like M-value models, they may give uh, you know, the same results in, in certain regions, but uh, they're not always going to get, uh, give the same results. And the other thing, too, is we've tested RGBM and correlated it to mixed gases, open circuit, uh, recreational altitude, decompression diving. Uh, we have essentially published and correlated it, whereas uh, to date I haven't, we haven't seen anything uh, about VPM. Maybe it'll happen. Thank you.